Oh, oh, ah, spicy. We've all been there before. The big debate, the big one, the old toss up. I mean, seriously, pretty much every American in the history of America has contemplated this at one point or another. I'm Dustin from Custom Offsets, and today we're gonna be sitting down and settling the long time debate of which is better, gas or diesel. Before we do that though, I want you to know that if you need wheels, tires, or suspension for your gas truck, your diesel truck, or even your electric truck, you can find all of those at customoffsets.com. If you need something to save you from that quarantine boredom, you can find that remedy at customoffsets.com forward slash gallery, where you can browse 70,000 trucks and find out what fits your trucks. Check it out. Okay, back to it. It's no surprise that this debate has gone on since essentially the invention of both the gasoline and diesel internal combustion engines. While somewhat similar, the two engines are as close together as they are apart. These differences are only further complicated by the fact that you can get a one ton truck with a massive gas engine, or the fact that in some cases you can get a teeny tiny little baby diesel engine in a mid-sized truck. With all these options and offerings, it can be extremely difficult to compare which engine is the best all arounder. For comparison's sakes, we have to establish a few ground rules because otherwise we'll be here literally all day. Today, when we're talking about the trucks, we're strictly gonna be looking at the three quarter and one ton trucks from the big three manufacturers in the industry, which are GM, Ford, and Dodge, and they're listed in no particular order. Also, I know that literally all of them have had their fair share of issues at one point or another in the history of the trucks. Head gaskets, injectors, transmission issues, turbo failures, and more have all plagued the big three at one time or another in their life. We know it, you know it, it's all good. With all of that out of the way, here's how we're going to break it down. We're gonna look at five main categories and take a quick look at the pros and cons of each. Those five categories happen to be longevity and durability, maintenance and cost of ownership, fuel economy, towing and power, and off-road capabilities will round out the list. At the end of all of it, we'll assign a winner. Which one do you think will be best? Let us know down in the comments section below. Up first is longevity and durability. Now I know what's going to happen. Inevitably, someone in the comments is gonna tell me how one is better than the other, and honestly, they're probably not lying. I mean, this one could literally go either direction, if I'm being honest. If the engines only worked heavily very occasionally or not at all, like a daily driver scenario, the gas engine may be just as good and just as durable as any other option on the market. With that being said, however, in general, a diesel is going to be a much safer bet when it comes to overall dependability and reliability and overall longevity. As a general rule of thumb, diesels are made with much stronger engine and transmission components that are built to handle additional compression and torque that these diesel engines produce. This, coupled with the fact that diesel engines run at a much lower engine speed, means that you're less likely to wear out critical engine components. All of this combined makes the diesel engine the clear victor in this category. Chalk up one for the diesel. All of this reliability comes at a cost though, which is why up next we have a hot ticket item, maintenance and cost of ownership. As a general rule, gasoline engines are pretty simple to own. Change the engine oil every few thousand miles, change the spark plugs when you remember, and maybe flush the coolant a time or two. I'm kidding. On a serious note though, maintenance on a gas truck is much lower than that of their diesel engine counterparts. Most diesel engines take more oil, need to change fuel filters more often, and overall just need more attention to keep on top of the preventative maintenance schedules. Additionally, diesel parts are more expensive than their gas engine counterparts, which is slightly debatable, but for the most part, it holds to be true. This in turn means that a higher cost of ownership over the life of the truck, for this reason, the gas engine takes the cake in category number two. Number three on our list is fuel economy, and honestly, this one is pretty tough. 20 years ago, the diesel engine would have been the king and the number one on this one by a long shot here. Years ago, it was common for most diesel engines to see 25 plus miles per gallon in an everyday scenario. With that being said, however, in today's market, the split is much closer than it once was. Strict EPA emission regulations and the implementation of diesel exhaust filtration systems have drastically reduced the overall fuel economy of diesel engines. This, coupled with the advancements in fuel injection in gasoline engines, makes this almost neck and neck in today's market. But we didn't come here for ties, did we? In general, if you're looking to tow a lot or haul a lot, it doesn't get any better than a diesel engine. 
Personally, we've gotten fantastic fuel economy with the K350, even with the massive lift and big tires. And for those reasons, the diesel is the winner here. Chuck another one up to the diesel. Moving on, our next category is towing and power, and this one should be easy for all of us. Listen, gas engines have come a long way in the last few years. Massive advancements in factory engines means that you can get a production truck with north of 700 horsepower with a factory warranty. Then if you want to slide a truck under a gooseneck and haul a load that the DOT would probably fine you for, there's no better choice than a diesel here as well. Additionally, the diesel engine is going to have significantly more torque at lower RPMs, meaning that you'll have the grunt to get moving under heavy loads. For that reason alone, the diesel is the winner here. Chalk up another one. All right, so there's only one category left, and this one, she's a spicy one. And not like mayonnaise spicy, like ghost pepper chocolate bar challenge spicy. Last but certainly not least is each respective engine's capability off the pavement. In general, diesel engines just can't compete with their gas counterparts off the pavement. The heavy diesel engines in the front can be detrimental should you find yourself in a sticky situation. Additionally, gas engines rev faster and rev line higher, meaning they have a much higher range of RPMs in each gear. This is great for clearing out tires or sending it across the desert. For this reason, the gas engine is the far superior choice here when it comes to being off-road. Whoa, whoa, excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse you. Can I help you? What did you just say? Brother, I just said that the gas engine is the better choice off-road. Off-road. Off-road, not on the pavement. You don't think that that diesel could outperform this gasser off-road? No, absolutely not. I beg to differ. You mean to tell me that that big behemoth of a truck is gonna outrun this? Have you seen our drag race? That truck is 10 oh times faster. Oh boy, here we go. Have you seen the tug of war? You broke your drive shaft. We have new drive shafts. Oh, here we go. We're good. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I guess we have a little bit of a debate going on here. So let us know if you'd like to see something like that. Let us know down in the comments down below. And also remember, if you need wheels, tires, or suspension, on-road, off-road, whatever it takes, customizes.com. Peace. Yeah.